but you can't create something new, fresh, and amazing with someone when you can't accept that that broken relationship is over. And it was broken. It's called a breakup because it's broken. That is one of the books I recommend to you guys. And if you can't accept that something in that relationship was broken, because you guys always want to tell me, you, no, 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 you don't understand. My relationship was great. They left for no reason. They're treating me like shit for no reason. I didn't do anything wrong. I beg to differ. There is a reason you broke up. And you need to start accepting that and stop being in denial. It is the first step in either getting your life back or getting your ex back. Either way, you have to stop acting like you own them. You do not own them. So all this stuff you're doing, like yelling at them for wearing a skimpy outfit because you're stalking their Facebook page and stalking their Facebook page in and of itself, these things are really immature and they're also very destructive and they're going to hinder your ability to be close to your ex again. You are not their boyfriend or their girlfriend. They don't have any obligation to be nice to you or care about your feelings. And you don't really have the right to tell them that they're wrong about the way they're living their life now. You had that chance, things went wrong, and you guys are no longer together. So take a deep breath. I know it hurts, but realize that this is reality. You don't have the right anymore to invade their privacy, tell them that they're a slut, stalk them on Facebook and find little things you want to address with them that you don't think is appropriate and how they're hurting you and embarrassing you and all these other things. Do you see the common theme? It's all about you and your feelings. And that is another point I need you to understand. You and your ex right now, are on completely different sides of this situation. You may not agree with the fact that your ex doesn't want to be with you anymore. They think that the relationship is broken and it's not worth repairing. And on the other hand, you don't feel that way. So you keep pushing them and telling them they're wrong and telling them you're going to change and telling them you'll do anything to get back with them and that you promised it's not going to happen the same way again but you know that they're thinking if that was true and you could flip a switch and be the right person for them, why didn't you do it already? Why didn't you do it in the relationship if you cared so much about making it work? Why is it now you think that you can change? Why is it now that you think you can conjure up the, the strength and the ability to be the best person? It's fool's gold and they know it. You just want to get your way. And if that was a core reason that they left you because you're a brat and you always have to get your way, then all you're doing is making them run because you're proving them right. So stop. The first thing you need to do is accept that they have decided to leave you. And instead of arguing with them and telling them they're wrong and telling them you don't know what you're doing, you're never gonna find better. I swear I can change. I'll change my mind about not wanting kids. I'll change my mind about not wanting a career. I'll work harder. Somehow you cannot accept the truth that you had a chance to do those things. Something went wrong in that situation and now you are basically strangers. I know it's hard to believe. I know you don't wanna accept this. I get that. I have been there. I have been the ex-girlfriend that stalks Facebook and sees a check-in at a restaurant and texts my ex and says, what the fuck? You fucking piece of shit. I can't believe you're with so-and-so. How dare you? Are you trying to make a fool out of me? Why are you doing this? And they're sitting there like, what are you talking about? I am not your girlfriend. I am not your boyfriend. You don't have the right to talk to me like that. And then what do they say? Don't talk. Don't contact me anymore. Leave me alone. You're ruining your chances. It's really hard to have self-control 
that you need to take a deep breath before you do these things and you need to realize what you're doing. It's like you still think you're special. It's like you still think you're the shit in their life. It's asinine. You're not anymore. Get off your high horse and stop it. If you want to be on the same playing field, on a level playing field, and if you want to be on your ex's side again, then you need to start thinking like them. You need to stop looking like their enemy and you need to start looking like their ally. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is to accept the fact that they left and agree with them and respect them. I've said this in my first video that I ever made on here. Respecting their decision to leave. It's easy to do this. You tell them they're right. It's something very hard for a lot of people to do, but to tell them you're right. The relationship was broken. I'm respecting your decision to leave, even though I don't agree with it. And then you can say whatever else you need to say. I'll always hold the memories that we had together, whatever, the good times. But when you stop chasing after them to argue with them about how it wasn't broken and they don't know what they're talking about, they're moving away from you. You're not on the same wavelength with them. But once you make it peaceful and you make peace with that and you tell them, you're right, I'm gonna respect your decision. If they don't want you to contact them, respect their decision, don't contact them. You guys are always afraid that, you, that if you give them what they want, they're going to hate you. How does that make sense? If you give them what they want, they're going to respect you now. They went from hating you, not wanting to talk to you, thinking you're crazy and you're a fucking psycho to respecting you. That in and of itself is a huge leap and you guys are afraid to give them that? I don't understand that. It's illogical. You're not thinking clearly. And that's why I'm here to shed some light on the situation, to slap you out of it. You cannot change someone else's mind. You can force someone by coercion, making them feel guilty, manipulating them with some psychological tactics that you came up with or that you read somewhere. You can get them to feel sorry for you enough to change their mind. And I've talked about this before. You can make threats, and you can make promises. You can tell them exactly what they want to hear or you can promise them the world and you can convince them to do something that they don't want to do in their heart. We see it all the time. And that's what a lot of you are trying to do. You're looking for some magic pill or some magic book or magic program that you're going to read and all of a sudden it's going to give you all the answers. It is not like that. There's a book I always recommend, How to Win Friends and Influence People. And in that book, there is a phrase that I will never forget. And it's one that I carry with me through business and relationships and friendships. And the phrase is, a man convinced against his own will is of the same opinion still. I love that it rhymes as well, but let's break it down. A person that's convinced against what they really want in their heart and their mind and their soul. So here you are convincing them against what they really want is of the same mindset they had before you forced them into thinking something that wasn't true for them. That's exactly what that phrase means. A man convinced against his own will is of the same opinion still. So you can try your hardest and use all of these tactics, but deep down inside that person is not really doing what you want them to do because it's what they really want inside and it's not going to last. So you're going to go through all of this pain all over again. And this has happened to me. I don't want that for you. So instead, 
of watching your phone for text messages from them and then analyzing those text messages. How many hours went by? Was it two, three? Was it a positive text? Was it neutral? Was it bad? Uh, what, how many hours should I wait till I respond? Really? Instead of doing that and stalking them on Facebook and coming up with these crazy movies in your head of what's happening, thinking that you know what they're intending to do, that they're hurting you, that they're out with this guy, that they're doing that, that they're thinking this. Stop, because you will never ever know what's in anyone's mind. You'll never know. So it's seriously a waste of your time. It's a waste of your time and all it does is make you look like a psycho. Once you can actually make peace with this and you stop being in denial over the situation and you stop being crazy, then you need to take some time and what I like to do and what I recommend